y'all. I'm back with another poly topic. A lot of people want to know why I'm poly in the first place. Well, generally speaking, me knowing myself, emotionally, the reason why I desire, I have two reasons. The reason why I desire to be in a polyamorous relationship, or polygamous rather, is because, one, I didn't get much love from my parents, especially in my teenage years. You guys know my story. Go back on that. Um, I didn't get much love from my parents around that time. Like, my mom and I, we weren't really close. You know, it seemed as if we were close, but no, we weren't. We weren't really close. We just were like shopping buddies. Um, my mother's very busy doing work and church and all that other stuff. And, you know, she took me out shopping a lot. You know, at the thrift store, and you know, we went out to eat occasionally. You know, me, her, and my sister, and we had our little girl time then. But we were not really close. I could not say we were like super close to it. No, my mom was my best friend. I never had that. I never had that. So I missed out on a lot of female bonding time. A lot of female bonding time. And I honestly didn't know how bad it was until I came out as bisexual. I didn't know how bad it was until I really looked inside myself, and I'm like, oh shit, this is why. This is why I want sister wife. I just feel a void that I just want a woman that close to me. I want a woman to live with me. I want a woman to be around me all the time. Just so I can get that void that I'm missing. That's just how I feel. Because like I said, me and my mother were not as close as I wish we were. And of course, definitely not now. But you know, even then, you know, there's just been a severe, severe break in the relationship. So yeah, that's obvious you already know like I said go back and look at my stories and number two the other reason why I desire a polygamous marriage is because again watch my old stories I practically grew up watching threesome porn if you guys missed those videos you need to go back and watch my abuse videos and you know the part one and two and how that all started I my, my father pushed what my father forced me to watch threesome videos Three some porn videos. That's the majority of the types of videos he had me watching. There were threesomes depicted. Man, two women. And I was really on watching this stuff. And I, of course I didn't want to watch it, but I was forced. He forced me to watch it. So now it's kind of ingrained in my head that that's, that's what I like, I guess. I've never experienced it, but to me it's appealing. Whenever I see, you know, a threesome relationship or a triad, it's appealing to me because I guess this is what I grew up seeing. Now some people could say, oh that's bad. It's bad that you want a triad because that's what you saw growing up. Yeah, it's bad in some ways, it can be, but okay, it depends on how you go about it. It doesn't have to be bad. You can take your trauma and make it into something good all the time. You don't have to sit and brood in the bad like, oh well I was forced to watch this so I'm going to force myself to not be who I am. No, I'm going to be who I am. And I want a sister wife. I wish, I hope to have a sister wife at some point in time. I don't know. I just hope for that. I desire that because, um, because of the first reason. Again, I didn't get much love from my mother and I missed out on a lot of female time. I didn't have any friends growing up my whole adult life. I've had hardly no female friends. And I still don't have any around me, which really, really sucks. You know, I have internet friends, but I don't have any friends around me still. So, yeah, that combined with seeing threesomes all those years, yeah, it kind of fucked me up. But, you know, that's me right now. That's how I am. I can't change it, y'all. Like, even when I play Sims, I play Sims 4 sometimes, like when I have free time. <laughs> y'all, I get turned on when I, when I see my Sim trying to date two people. Like, I, I generally try to make my sim, sometimes, <laughs> try to date two, two people. I have her, like, flirt with this one guy, and, you know, they might be living together, whatever, and then she kind of flirts with another girl, but, you know, if you know anything about the sims, you can't let them be in the same room if you're flirting, because they'll look at it as cheating, and then that other person's sad, and, oh my god, it just causes a mess. But, either way, I legit get turned on watching that. I legit get turned on watching my sim have feelings for multiple people. Generally two. Generally not more than, you know, that's the, the rest of that is just doing too much in a damn game. But you know, hey, it is what it is. But that generally turns me on, you know? And it's probably, like I said, it's because I grew up seeing that threesome porn. I 
can't help it. That's just how I think right now. Is hey, that's that's what it is. So that's why I'm polyamorous or polygamous, however you want to put it. I say polygamous because I really want another wife. I really just want a wife or two in the household, and that's it. I don't want to. I don't desire to get another man. I don't desire to have like three, four, five partners. No, that's just too much to keep up with. That's too much to get the kids involved with. I'm not doing all that. I would just generally like one. If I can just get one sister wife, I'm good. If my husband and I could just get one. Um, and I'm good with that, y'all. <laughs> I'm not greedy, you know? I am good. And I'm also at the point where I'm like, I don't really care how, how, how old she is. Well, I do care in the sense that I don't want her to be in her 20s, really. Unless she's in her late 20s and she has maturity on her. But, um... I don't really mind if she doesn't want to have more kids because I used to be on this thing of oh I want to be I want to be pregnant at the same time with her I want her to impregnate me and her at the same time and you know we're just squealing over and being with the same man y'all that's unrealistic that might not happen I already got five of my own I don't think I want any more like seriously <laughs> I have my moments where I want a sixth child and then I have those moments where I'm just like nope get the fuck out of here don't want it done done but you know, however life ends up is how life's gonna end up. If this happens, we'll see what happens. I don't care if she wants to have a child with him. If she doesn't, then cool. If she's in her 40s and she's done having kids, cool. That's fine too. I don't really care, you know. If she has a child of her own, I'm cool with that too. I mean, if she comes into a relationship, she really has a child. You know, I don't really mind that either. But you know, preferably hope not. Unless they're grown. But, um... Yeah, I don't really care. I just really desire a sister wife for, like I said, those two reasons. My parents not giving me much love, and I grew up seeing threesomes, and I can't change that fact. I can't change the fact that I like threesomes. I, I like the thought of threesomes. I like the visual of it. I like the feeling. I like the thought of going and knowing that I can flirt with multiple people. Not necessarily multiple. I'm saying multiple in the Sims case, because I don't know. It just turns me, it really does turn me on. Like, I just... I just, I get off on it hard. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, that's me. That's how I am. That's probably going to be me forever. I don't know. For now, that's what it is. My sexuality is very fluid. You know, I'm trying to like, do things and still be honorable in my marriage. And not go out and do anything stupid because I'm not like that either. You know, I'm trying to still honor myself and my husband and just wait on the proper timing to go after this and things should go well if I wait on the proper timing and not rush into anything. You can't rush into this poly thing. You gotta take your time and get to know the person. You know, you can't be flirting around too early, which is something I'm constantly doing wrong. I'm always flirting around with the woman way too damn early. Um, yeah, I'm working on that. I've made many mistakes with women in the past, flirting with them too early. And they, they might not even have been potentials. They were just whoever they were and I flirted way too early and I ran them off in some way so again something I gotta work on but that's just generally me I get off on it I get off on just he even hearing my husband talk about being with another woman or if he even describes another woman sexually I get turned on I don't know that's just that's me okay <laughs> call me fucked up call me delusional call me a sexual maniac but it, it, like I said it is what it is I'm being real and that's all there is to it realism practice it learn it develop it so yeah i hope i answered that question pretty well and um that's it that's pretty much why i'm poly and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are having a great day month year second hour century millennium and all that stuff <laughs> thank you for watching peace out